Hi everybody and welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and uh, usually with me is the lovely Tiftastic, but she is not here today, but she sends her love to all of you and uh, we thank you for watching. If this is your first time with us here at the Poindexter Lounge, just know that this is a place for you, this is a place for nerds, and that's what we do. We come together and we talk about all of the things that we love, and uh, that's what I want to do today. Uh, but if this is your first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you are a part of this group, all right? That you are a part of this community, and we welcome you in. Also, please, especially today with what we're talking about, leave a comment down in the comment section. Share a, a memory, maybe, of watching the facts of life, maybe with your family or friends or whatever. Um, I'd just love to hear that, all right? So if you could leave that down in the comment section, or you can follow us at Twitter, at Enosh Music, at Grand Tiff Tarkin for uh, Tiffany, at Poindexter Lounge with just an X, and then also you can hashtag Poindexter Lounge with the E uh, on Twitter, all right? So today we are talking about Charlotte Ray. Charlotte Ray originated the character of Mrs. Garrett on uh, the show Different Strokes in 1978. Uh, then she later went on to take that character uh, from the housekeeper there on Different Strokes to uh, the dead mother on the facts of life and um, she was she was just a, a staple mark of, of my childhood and uh, my uh, my adolescence growing up watching those shows I mean I, I, I remember watching different strokes and to this day uh, you know I love different strokes <laughs> I, I just bought uh, bought my son uh, a couple seasons of the show different strokes and he loves it it's one of those generational things that that kids just relate to you know funny is funny and good is good and when you watch a show like different strokes it was just good and then that that corresponded then later went on to the facts of life where we saw Joe and Blair and Tootie and Natalie and those four girls I know there were more to start off but eventually when it kind of came down to those four girls and Mrs. Garrett um, it was just good you know it was just it was done so well and I enjoyed it so much on a weekly basis and you always seem to learn something you know I, I, I love that about the shows of the of the 80s where a lot of times there were these moments where all this stuff would happen and then by the end you learned a lesson right you you had these touching moments where people came together and you know even the the hard-nosed people that that you saw their softer side and you know with Blair she was kind of this um, you know rich girl who who just thought that she was so fabulous yet that love came through that she had for her uh for her fellow classmates and, and her friends there and and joe would be that tough gruff person but that 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 love would show through and then you know with tootie and natalie a lot of times they'd be on the outside kind of looking in but they were all part of that group and they would all learn something together and grow together and tuning in each week i felt like we learned something and grew up together. Now, Charlotte Ray was 92 when she passed away this week, and um, she's gonna be missed. And I, I always enjoyed seeing her in television and movies, as I would see her pop up still, still in movies every once in a while. She was just in a movie a couple years ago that I remember she popped up and I went, hey, that's Mrs. Garrett, you know? And it just brings a smile to your face to see somebody like her. And I, I just, I, I really appreciate that about her. Uh, this is what she had to say to uh, People Magazine when she turned 91. It says, I want to tell everybody to celebrate every day, to savor the day, and be good to yourself. Love yourself, and then you can be good to others and be of service to others. I think that that's a wonderful message for us to carry on in our lives on a daily basis, you know, that we love ourselves, that we love others, we treat everyone as we would want to be treated. Uh, that's a great thing. And uh, I find it ironic that uh, just as this news was coming out about the fact that Charlotte Ray died, they're actually considering a re reboot of the facts of life. So this is actually news to be reported. Um, a re reboot of the long-running 1980s sitcom The Facts of Life is reportedly in the early stages of being assembled at Sony Pictures. Uh, Jessica Biel's uh, Iron Ocean Films and Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, Appian Way Production Companies are the ones looking to do it. The potential series is currently looking for a writer. 
Uh, a little bit about the show, Dif uh, The Different Strokes spinoff aired on NBC from 1979 to 1988 and followed a house mother of the fictional Eastland School, an, an all-girl boarding school in Peekskill, New York. The series focused on issues that teenage girls face, such as drug use, sex, eating disorders, and peer pressure. Charlotte Ray, Lisa Wetchel, uh, Kim Fields, Mindy Cohen, and Nancy McKeon starred. So, it'll be interesting to see uh, if this actually comes to fruition, you know, with, with Charlotte Ray passing. Will it be too soon, or will this be something that maybe can, uh, can boost Charlotte's legacy and the fact that we may see a new version of the facts of life. But I ask you, what is your opinion? What do you think? Uh, what are your thoughts on Charlotte Ray and, uh, and her role in your childhood, maybe, and watching these shows? Let me know down in the comment section, will you? And then also, uh, I'd love to know what you think about them rebooting the show. Uh, it sounds like it will be a tr true reboot without uh, including some of the uh, other actors in it uh, who were originally in the first show. And so I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts and your opinions about whether or not they should do this or if now it's too soon. I mean, this information came out the same day that Charlotte Ray passed away. I think in the end, the only thing that we can say is this. You take the good, you take the bad. You take them both and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. There's a time you got to go and show you're growing. Now you know about the facts of life. The facts of life. When the world never seems to be living up to your dreams, suddenly you're finding out the facts of life are all about you. You. Until next time, my name is Enosh. We'll see you.